Hey friends, so it is finally time to get this room set up and situated mostly how I want it to be. Um, I didn't buy the TV that I plan on putting in here and so I thought about just putting off this video but this is what I had planned for putting up this week, today, whatever. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Anyways, we're still undecided if we're going to put the deers back. I am you know, I'm fine with it, but John just, he hasn't decided if he's going to bring them back. I don't know why. We have critters in here. It's fine if they come back. Um, and I know I'll be missing them at Christmas, but as of now, he hasn't brought them back. I'll probably get them back after we get the TV put up that we still have to purchase. Um, but anyways, we're just going to buy a little 32 inch for in here. Nothing huge. We have a big TV in the living room, but I just want a little something in here just for noise. We're going to put the Nintendo Switch in here. You know, this is just a little area. This is the area that the t the kids tend to spend their time in, especially when Jonathan and Kim are here. And so, I figure I wanted this to look, you know, a family-oriented space. We're going to do a big family room in the basement, but who knows when that will happen. So, we're just getting this space cozy and comfy, and I do really enjoy the end results. I enjoy it more when there's a TV on the wall, but that's just because I know there's going to be one there. And even if I am working or doing something, um, I like to have background noise. So once the TV's in here, I think I can even utilize this space more myself. But we're just going to get it set up. I'll go through this the phases of getting everything cleaned up and organized with you all. That means dusting and getting the shelves cleaned off and reorganized. These will, the shelf I'm working on right now, um, or that Fox came from, that will be a space that we are fixing for Violet's things. Um, I'm sure if this isn't your first video, you know this, but we are expecting our first grandbaby Violet. Um, very soon in less than seven weeks now. So, um, we we're just getting her little space set up here. They spend a lot of time here. I'm sure that'll change once baby is here, you know, things change. I'm fine with it if, it if it doesn't. I'm actually hoping that it doesn't change much and they're still over here quite often. But, you know, I know that changes happen in life. But nonetheless, for when they are here, I want it to feel like home for Violet and for Jonathan and Kim. I don't want them to feel like it's a burden to have to come over here because the house isn't baby proof. There's nowhere for Violet to be, etc. Um, you know, it's going to be like her home away from home because I hope that she's here enough to make it feel like it's her home away from home. So this is our first rodeo as a grandparent and it's just, we're learning. That's all I'm saying. So, if you're watching this and you're like, why are you going to have all that stuff at your house? It's not your baby. It's as close as it can get without being my baby. And like I said, I want it to be a safe place for her. And I want it to be a comfortable place for her and them when they're here. You know, I don't want them to be like, we want to go to mom's today. But, you know, Violet's this or Violet's that. There's going to be a space for Violet is what I'm saying. And there's going to be a space for any future grandkids. But, so that is what we're doing. We're learning how to adjust to that. And that means she's going to have stuff around our house. And I'm so excited about baby items being around the house again. It's very, been a very long time since we've had baby items around our house. So um, this is her little space. It's the family room, also known as Violet's Corner. That's what I like to call it because it's got, are going to have all of her stuff. Now I have not put up her playpen yet. It's a playpen, the bassinet changing table combination thing. Um, and I'm going to wait until she's born. You know, she's not going to live here full time. So it's not like I need to get it up before she gets here because I don't have the time to do that. I figure if I can put it off because I really want to put it up and see how it looks. I'm going to wait until she's actually here before I get it out of the box and, you know, just expose it to all the critter hair and dust and whatnot. So, that is not got out yet. You will see her swing and her bouncer, which I haven't got set up yet or anything, as well as a chair. That is because all that stuff was purchased secondhand because we're not afraid of secondhand things around here. Um, but the bassinet playpen combination thing I wanted, I wanted something nice and big and a one and all kind of setup so that, you know, I didn't have to have too much stuff here because, like I said, she's not going to be living here full time. But I still wanted it all, if that makes sense. So I did splurge and buy a extra fancy playpen combination thing. Um, and my hope is that this will last through many grandkids. 
we would like to say all of them, but probably not going to happen since my oldest is 20 and my youngest is 11. So he's still a little bit away from kids and all of that. Um, so, you know, I don't want to have to replace it every grandkid at least. The plan is to be able to keep it through most, if not all of them. Um, so I, I thought it would kind of balanced out making the big purchase, the big splurge for the, this one. Um, I don't even know what it is. If you're interested, it's a Graco something. It's like, I think the most expensive one they had on their website. But like I said, I did want to just purchase something that was an all-in-one that I didn't have to, you know, buy this. And then if something, if she's going to come and spend the night at our house, I don't have to buy a bassinet. It has a little part that um, the bassinet can come off and be put on a stand. Look at me turning this into a baby video. It's not what it was supposed to be. I mean, technically, maybe it is because she was a big inspiration for the remodel of this space. But... We needed to remodel it anyway, so we're just getting everything situated and reorganized. In case you forgot, I do want to rem remind you all, we do live here. This is our house. It's not a catalog insert, so it's not all going to be perfect. I mean, in my ideal of perfect, there wouldn't be all these stuffed mounted critters around. Fun fact, the deers are like my favorite of them all, and well, the bobcats are cute, but I don't know. Anyways, um... And the other ones he took, he kept the bobcats in here. He said eventually he hopes to be able to get them out, and I'm hoping that he does as well, especially just some of them because they take up so much good space. My plan for these bookshelves is I'm going to probably repaint them. I was painted out at this point, so um, I'm probably going to eventually repaint them and use them for actual bookshelves because... I love books. I still have a collection of some of the kids' books. I have a huge collection of my own, which I try to keep contained because, well, I just do. So, I would like to make these bookshelves back into bookshelves eventually. For now, they are animal shelves and bookshelves and holder of clutter shelves and baby essentials. So, we make it work. Um, like I said, we live here, so it's not going to be tip-top perfect, you know, magazine worthy but it's home and we're comfy here we like it and that's all that matters this bottom shelf i had not reorganized in a very long time we homeschool so some of these books and the portfolio the portfolios was it had been there for years so i ended up grabbing those and taking them and putting them in the basement with all the rest of the homeschool portfolios and whatnot but i did keep homeschool stuff down here on this bottom shelf stuff that we still use and utilize and whatnot I didn't want to have to put that up just to drag it out every time I needed it so like I said we're going to make it work this side has homeschool stuff on it and the other side has all of my cookbooks on it so we're just getting it all organized here but I figured we'd bring you along for it I thought about not even putting this video up this week because I didn't get the tv up and all that but I was like you know what it don't matter it's real life. It's still home and it still looks nice in the end. In my opinion, it looks nice and well, I'm the one that lives here. So that's all that matters. But we're just going to play some music for a little bit. So I'm not gabbing the whole time because it can happen. It does happen. Um, so I hope you enjoy watching me get some stuff done and making this space what I've dreamed of it being. Minus it still needs the TV, but you'll see that eventually. I promise. Bought a new house Promised you heaven but it never did work out Got a new job and moved uptown I bought you everything you never questioned why All this time I waited for a Best care. 
these little white houses and the little white flowers here for a while i thought about um just getting rid of them the white houses they're plaster so they're cleaning them was like almost impossible and then the flowers i was just over but then i decided i was just going to put a little bit of green on them we have some green going on in there anyways because of our little poofs that we have for extra seating and a foot rest and whatnot so i went ahead and just spray painted them green with some sage spray paint that i had just to kind of revive them a little bit, change them up, but still get to keep them. I'm really liking all the dark colors that I brought into this space, which is weird because, well, not weird. I mean, people change, obviously, but the reason I whitewashed it was because I wanted it to be bright and happy in here. And then now I still want it to be happy, obviously. Nobody wants a depressing space, but I just wanted more calm and cool tones, I guess. So we're going a little bit dark, not too dark. I mean, you'll see at the end, but just the white, just, I don't know. I was kind of over it, I guess. But the warmth and relaxation that this darkness brings, I'm just obsessed with it. Like, I'm so ready to do this exact same thing in the living room. But it's quite a bit of work, and it's a huge wall in the living room. So, I'm also not ready to do it in the living room. pretty sure that the biggest task with cleaning and remodeling this kind of stuff the most time consuming part and the part that you have to do over and over and over again is sweeping and mopping the amount of times that I had to sweep and mop this space while just doing this little bit of work well if I could get paid for it I would get paid quite a bit probably I'm not gonna sit here and try to figure that out but yeah mopping and sweeping it just takes so much so much effort now i have my tenneco mop that i absolutely love but i also didn't want to overdo it especially with it being like super crusty and dusty which at this point it wasn't i just decided that i was going to use this to try to get some of the leftover paint and um, little bits of drywall here and there that i hadn't got up as you can see i'm using my foot just trying to dig it up because it needed a little bit extra, you know, a little extra elbow grease. Or would that be considered knee grease since I used my foot? But it didn't work too well in some of the spots. So, I did have to go in with a little scrapey thing and scrape it all up. But like I said, the floor is the most strenuous part when you're doing stuff like this. You just got to do it over and over again. You'll think it's nice and clean and then it dries and you see all the dust that's still around. So, it is what it is. It just takes a lot. And it can be annoying, but you know, it's worth it. Once it's done, it's worth it. Even if you have to mop 11 billion times. Never thought it would be so hard. I grew up without a scar. Just living my life with no big worries. And I've always known what I want. 
just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives them right I wanna stay wide open Ooh, 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 ooh Ooh, 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 ooh I wanna stay wide open Can't stand to hear more today I'm gonna lock my door and stay Inside a way until I'm safe again I have nothing more to put on I'm defeated and withdrawn Just trying to understand where it went wrong Always believe that nothing good in life is free But it's overwhelming how people can help And I decided that I was going to recover these chairs. And I did the one black, which you saw. But once I got it done, one, I didn't have enough fabric to do both anyways. But I didn't like the way that I had wrapped it. And I'm sure that I could have redone it and figured out a better way. But my brain had just been overloaded. Life has been a lot lately. And I just did not have the brain power, the strength, whatever to try to do this so I decided I was going to take the easy route and I ordered some gray covers from Amazon they barely covered the chairs you'll see them at the end but they barely covered the chairs but in, it's still better than doing the reupholstering like I did plus I covered that one in black and this same day it was kind of yucky outside like it wasn't rainy but just wet and the doggos y'all know we let our dogs on furniture if my dogs can't be on it, I don't want it kind of thing. So, um, quickly, I realized that black was not the way to go anyways. So, I ended up getting gray for the covers. And with the ones I bought from Amazon, I can just pull them off and wash them when needed. So, that's definitely a bonus as well, as long as they don't shrink. Hopefully, they don't shrink. But, yeah, it was much easier just to spend the extra money and just buy covers for the chairs. I wanna stay wide open. I was 
We got the curtain up. It was supposed to be a blackout. I don't like how you can see the light through it, but it's fine. I like the curtain, so we're going to deal with it. Especially, I didn't realize how good the curtain matches the chair covers. I knew that I'd got gray and then knew that, you know, when I got the, got the curtain that it was gray. I knew that. But I didn't realize how close they matched. And Lily asked me if I'd done that on purpose. And I said, no, it just was a happy coincidence. Um, but it takes a little struggle to get them on. My chairs are almost too little for them. But I don't think these come in different sizes. I don't know. Um, if mine shrink, I might have to try to see if I can find some bigger ones. But I really enjoyed just being able to throw this on. And I, my only regret was not doing it sooner because I really like these chairs. We bought them at Costco years ago. It come with the end table. Not this one sitting here. But come with a very nice high quality end table as well. I think we give like $300 for the set or something. And we've definitely got our use out of it. But just the print... It didn't match stuff as I wish it would. It was just, it was too much going on with it. So these covers are definitely helpful for that. Um, I wish I would have done it sooner because they was a pretty light colored. So it seemed like every time as soon as I washed them, there was something getting on them. Um, but we're going to make them work. We're going to get them on here. Now you can see the room still does not have baseboards. The plan was to buy some this weekend. But, you know, even if we never get baseboards down, it's fine. I mean, it ain't, but we're going to pretend it is because it makes my heart happier to say that it's fine. So 
but we did make it work. I ended up painting the registers that go beside the wall as well because they was like an oak color. Wasn't a fan, so I just painted them dark brown. I think it looks really a lot better and it helps. It matches the fireplace better as well. But we got it set up. It is, it's good enough. It's not perfect, but we don't go for perfection. We just go for good enough. And, you know, if I'm happy with it, I live here. It doesn't matter. But this is how we've got it set up for now. Like I said, things will change a little bit. The bassinet will be getting put up and all that. But thank you guys for watching this series. We appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye friends. <music>